We're here with Bobby Hippert of Hillbilly Pork Skins. What makes a great pork skin? A lot of hard work. You know, luckily, we don't have to work for the pigs. We get the, the chips freeze dried, but having a good distributor is the main thing. We've we've gotten some that just didn't cook, so we deal with some people out of Carolina, and they provide excellent chips for us. And we've messed around with peanut oil, regular oil, canola. We find canola cooks the best, um, and then the seasonings. Anything we can get seasoning wise, we try to make. We have. Uh, spicy barbecue, ranch, salt, vinegar, salt, pepper, sour cream, onion, cinnamon and sugar, you name it, we make them. To the untrained eye, making pork skins looks simple, but I have a feeling it ain't. It, it's, not, it's not complicated, but it's, it's not simple either because you got you to keep your temperature. The main thing is keeping your temperature at about 450 yeah, degrees. Every time you dump in, it drops then it wants to rise, so you're always fighting the cooker. Seems to me when we were kids, the standard was peanut oil. That's not necessarily the case. Well, what we got into with peanut oil was so many people with allergies. You know, that, that was our biggest problem. So that's when we dropped back and we tried vegetable oil, then we tried the canola oil, and we just stuck with canola. And it looks like you're, we, we just found a brief lull here, but you've been busy all day long, right, Bob? Yeah, once, it, once that rain, little mist let up, people come out, and it's been good ever since. And do you sell your pork skins all over the region, or what, what kind of area do you we, we, do, we just mainly stick, stick to the area, Clifton, Covington. We go up to the airport when they have their thing, just mostly local. Well, thanks very much for taking time. I know you're busy. All right, thanks, ma'am.